not everybody is happy for you. Yes, you may have got that new car, that new house, you may have sat there and even got that new dog, but this is like, I don't feel like everyone is happy that you're winning. And I also wanted to share with you guys that I do have a secret thing under wraps. Now, like I said, privacy, privacy, privacy. <laughs> guys i am so happy that you guys are back if you are new here my name is catchy i'm assuming that you know you never see me before you never see me anywhere on any of these platforms but what's up welcome back to my channel for today's video i'm going to be talking about manifesting and also praying for what you want for everyone who's been here i'm doing a little rebranding and why i've been gone for such a long time i'm so sorry i promise y'all i wish y'all was like sitting there with me every single day so you really saw what i'd be going through but that is besides the point so today i'm gonna be talking about manifesting and praying for what you really want out of life as i've been away from youtube i've been doing a lot of growing emotionally mentally and physically so i just wanted to let you guys in on a little bit of that but before i talk about myself let me tell y'all the tips that I've been using to like basically just grow and like I've been seeing real life changes. I really want to let y'all in on secrets. Stay tuned and we'll get right into it. So let me tell you guys the four tips that I've been using to help me, you know, manifest the things that I want out of life and basically what's been helping me grow. So first, the first thing that I tell people in terms of manifesting and speaking about what you really want out of life is privacy. I feel like, I just feel like as we get older, you don't need to tell everybody your next move or tell people what you're doing because not everybody is happy for you. Yes, you may have got that new car, that new house, you may have sat there and even got that new dog, but this is like, I don't feel like everyone is happy that you're winning. I'll be very honest, I used to be one of those people who opened my mouth about everything and I was always telling people, oh, I got this or I did this and it really took one girl telling me one day, she was like, you always make it seem like you're better than us. I was like, wait, I don't think I'm better than anybody. I swear on everything. I don't think I'm better than nobody. I feel like in the eyes of the Lord, we're all equals, you know? So, but it really took her saying that to have me step back and reflect a little bit. I'm just like, maybe, maybe I do come off some type of way. And it's all about taking accountability for the things that you have done. But you know, I'm rambling a little bit. So back on topic. I've had so many times where, you know, I've spoken about things that I've really wanted and I feel like because I was speaking about it to people, people were speaking negatively of what I really wanted to do or what I really wanted to become. When you're more private, you don't leave room for people to be envious. You don't leave room for people to spew negative thoughts onto your idea. We all know that one person who just, you tell them something good or you tell them what you want to plan in your life and they're just sitting there like, well, I don't know if you should do that. Are you sure that you can do that? You, you got the money to do that? Why? Like, why the negativity? It don't even make no sense. But, you know, that's the thing. When you want to be private, like, you just don't leave that room for those things. So, it's not like you don't got to tell, like, close friends, your plans, what you want to be, what you want to do. That's fine. But try your best when you're trying to tell people that are close to you things. Don't, don't always be all in. You don't have to spew out every little detail about the moves that you want to make. Try to be as private as possible. I promise you these things will help you grow and will help the things that you want to accomplish. Take my advice. I've done it. I've sat here and I've really, really done it. I've actually actually been trying to refrain from spewing a lot of the things that I actually do in life out. I want to become more of a private person. So, you know, there's just not that negative energy putting on to my plans. You know what I mean? I think you're kidding me. We're on the same page. Next, number two, I'm a firm believer in speaking out to the universe or speaking out to God. When you speak out these things, you give way for them to happen. Now, like I said, privacy, privacy. But when you're sitting there and you're speaking out and you're like, oh, I'm going to get that car. I'm going to get that house. I see that man. I'm going to get that man. <laughs> I personally think that when you do those type of things, I think that you can really get those. Working on yourself, being one of those people who continue to grow. As long as you're taking accountability, you will be able to speak, oh, I want this. I want that. And you're working towards that, putting all your energy towards something. I just promise you, there's just no reason why you wouldn't 
get that. So when you pray about things, you speak them out to the universe, I really feel like God's gonna give it back to you. So that's that. Number three, I wanna give you guys a tip based on positive affirmation. Positive affirmation is when you sit there and you write. You could write, you could say it back to yourself. You don't always have to write it, but doing positive affirmation will literally change your whole perspective on the things that you want out of life. This is what I do. I wake up every morning, I get like a sticky note and I will write down what I want or I'll just write down something positive to myself. You're beautiful, keep chasing, that job is yours, you know, the position is yours. I'll write it down on the paper and I'll stick it on my mirror. After sticking it on my mirror, I will wake up every morning, um, try to add a new one or I will read the ones that I have and I will go about my day. People don't understand that the subconscious is very powerful. Powerful. When you write things or you read things out to yourself that's positive, the subconscious sees that or hears that and you know it keeps it into memory. When you write them down, you know it's there, like it's written. And when you do those type of things and you read it back to yourself, your subconscious will slowly continue to motivate you to chase those things or do those things. I personally, I feel like that's how the subconscious works. I'm not like a brain person I don't I don't know over time I've retained information about the subconscious and I personally feel like that is what you know makes the most sense so um yeah and number four I need people to understand the tongue is very powerful you can literally say the most negative thing and you're giving more power to that negative thing to actually happen and i feel like people will come around me and they'll say things like this is gonna be a horrible day and i'm like you literally just wrote that you're gonna have a horrible day right there you just said it so your day is gonna most likely be horrible so when you do those type of things you're literally like like i said subconsciously you're writing that down in your head that today's gonna be a horrible day even when there's positive things happening all around you those are the four tips that i've always used i've been using actually to grow mentally emotionally and um physically I've been letting these tips guide me in a way where I've become more positive. I've actually become a lot more happy. I know 2021 was a very, very hard year for everyone. i just been trying to regroup from that. And I feel like everyone as well has been trying to regroup from that. So um, I just really want people to understand that when you want things out of life, you can literally speak these, you know, positive things into existence. So yeah, but just, you know, take that into consideration. But you can stay for this part if you want to. You don't have to. But if you are already engaged in my channel, then you know what? You might as well stay and listen to me rant. Also, if you have not pressed that subscribe button, like, what are you doing? Like, you've been watching this whole time and you have not pressed that subscribe button. Like, you might as well join the family because you are going to be back. If you found this video, I'm a strong believer that you did not find it for no reason. Especially if you're watching this far. So you might as well subscribe, join the family, and, you know, watch us grow. But speaking of the videos, I'm actually trying to rebrand my channel and a lot of my other social medias. So it's not just this one, but it is this one along with the rest of them. i just been taking a break from... Um, YouTube and even from the internet I'm not even on it as much as I used to be so yeah I won't spill what I'm trying to incorporate on my channel yet because I do want you guys to stay tuned so you can come back and see it but I do want to add some things to this channel I want to add some things to my social media I've added new goals to my life also why I've been like away so I just really want to incorporate those things into my life. I'm 21 now, so I do want to cater to a more grown audience, so I am trying to change things on my channel. Adulting is hard. I gotta grow up sometime. It's hard. I was a kid talking about, I wanna grow up, I wanna grow up. Now I'm grown. It's just annoying. And I also wanted to share with you guys that I do have like a secret thing under wraps. I do, I will put this out there. God, please protect me when I put this out there. I do want to start a I do want to start a but I needed to rebrand myself in order to have this to work. So that's another reason why I was also doing the rebranding. Whenever I do decide to start my plans, I pray that God agrees with them and it just happens smoothly. But that's that. I am back. I will try to give a video every month. 
people actually tell me they really want me to keep uploading my videos and I just be acting like I don't have a YouTube. <laughs> I really just be trying. I swear when the summer comes back, I'm more likely to be more consistent. It is actually very beautiful outside, so I'm trying to finish this so I can go outside and just hang out with them by myself. So just stay tuned for that. There will probably be something I add to my channel that you guys will actually really like. And um, for anyone who is new here, if you do want to become a part of the family, like I said, subscribe, like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you did not like it because it will really help me see what I need to fix. I want you guys to know that when I was gone, I was just doing a lot of manifesting. I feel like I see that word a lot. I feel like I see it a, even a little bit too much, actually. Like, I personally was just doing things to better myself. So that's why I wasn't on YouTube where I barely, like, I've been on social media, but I haven't been, like, strictly on it as much as I used to be. I used to be on social media like 24 seven, but I'm not even on it like that anymore because I just feel like the only thing you're doing on social media if you're not building a platform is you're just spewing out your thoughts and also spewing out your opinions. And it's just like sometimes people don't need to know that. People do not need to know every little thing you go through. So I'm going to leave. I hope that you guys are having a great beginning of spring because I swear outside it's getting hot. I really thank you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love you guys with all my heart. Everyone who's helping my channel grow, I appreciate every single one of you guys. But yeah, give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, and do not forget to subscribe. Do not forget to subscribe so you guys can become part of the family. I love you guys. Bye. Yo, get into this. I'm out. <laughs>